Welcome to introduction to extractors. So I will make another video to show how to use robots for very, very simple problems in extractors. So in this case, we are going to resolve this uh, truss. So this is a very simple truss um, made by just three triangles. So this is um, a fixed support, uh, sorry, a pin support at the point A and a roller at the point E. And there are a couple of forces applied to the to the nodes B and D, as you see in the screen. So fundamental as a first step in robots, once you open robot, to choose the right problem to start. So if you have a truss, you have to use truss in two dimensions in this case. So I'm going to click in that type of problem and I will start defining my problem uh, from the beginning. So as usual, we start with the with the, with the definition of the nodes. So the first node I will create will be the node A and will be the origin of coordinates. So I will locate in this window nodes. I will locate then the zero, zero coordinates in this um, coordinate system X and Z. And I will click there to create the first node. So the second node, as you see in the scheme is at 3.1 meters from A to the right. So what I'm kind of doing here is to create um, and to establish the coordinate directly 3.1 comma 0 and add and I have the second node so if you see in the scheme the next one could be the E would be uh, 3.1 meters from C or 6.2 meters from A so I can just use the coordinates uh, 6.2 in the X direction comma 0 in the Y direction and create the third node uh, the order of creation of the node is, uh, is completely up to you. So um, I will create as the, the fourth node will be a B that is at 1.55 and 2.9. So I will introduce for the fourth node then um, 1.55, uh, 2.9 and I will add and finally, I will add the, the, the final nodes that will be basically 1.55 plus 3.1, which is 465. So the coordinate of the last node will be 4.65, comma 2.9, if I'm not mistaken. So I will just check my scheme to be sure that the coordinates are the ones I have introduced and after that once I have the location of the of the nodes I can create then the bars selecting members in here and just you know selecting a couple of points for every bar to create them so after a few clicks I have created all the bars of this uh, truss. The next step in the uh, setting up of this uh, of this problem is to select the cross section, for example. So you can select whatever is the cross section you want, or you can create a new one. Let's say, for example, we want to create a, rec a rectangular cross section for this. Um, in this case, for example, um, so we can. Um, Select, for example, in here, parametric, we have something called at the moment rectangular one. I will keep the name. I will say that the, uh, the cross section is, a, is, is, a, is a solid. And I will say that B will be, um, let's say 50 and H will be 100. So I will add this cross section. I will close this window. And now I can, for example, uh, select the bars where I want to use this cross section. In this case, I will select all of them. Uh, once I have defined the, the cross section that is rectangular in this case, I will go to define the supports. Um, I need to create a thick, uh, pin support at, at this point and a roller at this point. So I have in here, for example, this is a roller, evidently, because if you double click the only restriction is in the exact direction, so evidently it's a roller. So 
that roller is gonna be located at this node and the pin support just to check if this a uh, real uh, real pin support the pin support restricts the displacement in both directions so i will close and i will use this pin or pin in this uh, point of this truss so the only thing i need to define now will be the loads so i have 20 kilonewtons at this node and 30 kilonewtons at this node so what i'm going to do is 20 and 30 I will go to loads. I will create um, a leap uh, case. And now I will select this button to introduce a load in the Z direction of 20 kilonewtons. So because it's coming down, it's going to be negative. So I will add at this node. And the other load I have is 30 kN going to the left, so I will click again in this button. I will make this zero because there is no vertical component, and I will add minus 13 here, add and click in the node. And with this, I have created the loads I need to create. Just verifying that this is the case. This, I'm not interested in the cell way, so I will just uh, delete this row, cutting from the from the from the table and with this i have all i need to to run the calculation basically because i have defined all the elements i need to be defined in order to run the calculation i will click in the calculator so after a couple of seconds we can start seeing the post processing of this problem so i will click in results i will go to results again so now, for example, if I want to see reactions in this case, because it's a two-dimensional truss, the only reactions I can have actually are forces in the vertical and, and horizontal direction. I will add descriptions to see the values. So you see that in this case, uh, these are the directions of the forces and the values in kilonewtons. Reactions in, at the pin support, one reaction at the roller in the vertical direction as we expected. So these uh, structure, these loads that are applied on the on the structure tend to rotate the truss in the anti-clockwise directions. This is the reason why you have a couple of reactions in here that tend to restore that rotation. So this is reactions. We can see as well the internal forces. For example, I have this Fx in here. So if I apply and I add more definitions in here, labels, differentiation between positive and negative, and solid, and I will apply, so I can actually increase the scale. And in here, then I have um, all the internal forces in these bars that are constituting um, this, this truss, basically. I will delete the reactions because they are molesting at the moment to see the internal forces. So now I have a, a clear idea about the efforts, the forces that are acting on these internal parts in this truss. You can show more uh, post-processing in here. You can play by yourself with the, with the software to see uh, stresses, for example, compression and tension on every bar. Remember uh, just that the truss is not able to take moments by definitions, and this is the reason why it's so important to select the proper problem when you start doing analysis. Okay, thank you for watching.